going on, everybody? It's Physical Friday, and I put out on the Instagram that I was going to be doing these Physical Fridays and got some suggestions. This one comes from uh, Alejandre Zero E. Okay, suggestions on exercises to do in the gym that will help strengthen you for pulling a skiff. So we've done a couple of these similar to this before, but I guess you could never do it enough. Um, Polling a skiff, um, in my opinion, is very technique oriented. So it is you're you're probably going to be the best to work on your technique first. However, if you are already you know pretty good at it and you just feel like you can't do it as long as you would like to, there are certainly exercises that you can do to strengthen the muscles that it requires to pull. If you, in my opinion, there are certain things that are more important to others than others. I think grip strength is a key element to being able to pole a boat all day long. Not only grip strength, but grip stamina. you got to hold on to that pole all day long. It's much harder on your hands to pull on this pole and push on the pole than it is on your legs or your core or your back. You're probably already strong enough to pole a boat, um, except for your hands or, or for some people's hands your hands may be strong uh, but I can tell you that when you go and you meet your fishing guide for the first time and you shake their hand if there's somebody that's out on the water a lot pulling a skiff they've got really strong hands that is a, a constant in the fishing guide world fishing guides have very strong hands so you cannot work on your grip too much there are lots of ways that you can work on your grip from old school grip things where you're where you're just closing your hand around resistance. There, uh, you can get a, a bucket of rice, dry rice, and you can move your hands in and out of that rice, submerge your hands down in two buckets of rice and move them in and out, and you're going to start to increase the strength in these small muscles. Another thing you can do are farmers' walks, farmers' carries, or farmers' holds where you're taking either uh, heavy dumbbells or heavy kettlebells and you're simply just standing there holding them as you would do with a cast net or with a cooler or with all kinds of heavy stuff that we do. But those muscles that you're that you're, that you're um exercising all these forearm muscles and your hand muscles are going to benefit you greatly when you're pulling a skiff one of the exercises that most uh, mimics the um, the motion of pulling is climbing a rope so if you can get a one and a half inch manila rope and you can climb that either with uh, your legs assisting you or without that is a fantastic way to do it even if you're just to hold that rope and do rope hangs that's really good for for your arms really really good for building strength in your arms so farmers carries farmers holds rope climbs rope holds pull-ups are also very good pull-ups are like this chin-ups have your hands the other way chin-ups are also very good um, for increasing the strength of your hands as well as your lats, your shoulders, and your core, okay? Very few, pulling is athletic at times when you're really chasing a fish down. But for the most part, you're not, you know, sweating. I mean, it's a slower, lower gear kind of a thing. You need to be able to do it for 10 hours at a time, not, you know, bursts of... Of, of 10 seconds at a time so it's a real kind of stamina kind of thing I would suggest that if you're having trouble with your stamina work on your grip strength first then start working on pull-ups and then you know if 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 that is not helping you or you need more help you can certainly work on um, on your your legs your leg strength by squats and doing doing some squats and stuff like that but Mostly, at that point, after you've started a a grip-intensive workout, work on your technique. And you can watch people pull from a distance. You can see how they're doing it. 
and there is a very good technique to it. You can also get a new push pole, which acts kind of like a pole vault pole if, if it's matched to your boat properly. So if you have a pole that's too stiff, you're not getting any flex out of that pole. If you have a pole that is appropriate for the boat that you're in, when you go to push on that pole, the pole will actually bend and then it will rebound and it will push you forward if you, if you have the right technique. So a pole can be very, very effective. The pole choice and the right choice for that boat and the right length for that boat can be a big, big help to being able to pole a boat more efficiently, faster, and easier. But you can also go back to just the basics and that is grip strength. So that's what I would suggest if you're having trouble and you want to do some exercises that will help you pull, I'd start with grip strength. All right, that's it for How To Tuesday today, or Physical Friday, actually. Sorry, that's it for Physical Friday today. We'll be back next week. See ya.